George Strait is known as the king of country, but his influence spreads far beyond the genre. He's one of the most successful musical artists of all time. There seems to be no record he can't break. That includes the length of his marriage. He still has a long, loving, and supportive relationship with his wife. Keep watching to see why George Strait confesses she's the love of his life. George's Early Life George Harvey Strait Sr. was born May 18, 1952. He worked on his father's ranch on the weekends and summers. When he was in fourth grade, his mother left the family and took his sister Pensy with them. That left his father to raise him. George was always interested in music and started early. He performed in the rock and roll garage band The Stoics in high school. Their music was inspired by the Beatles, who also inspired his later works. He listened to other singers like Hank Thompson and George Jones. He was also influenced by Frank Sinatra, whom he's often compared to. Despite this, he didn't listen to country music much as a child. He focused on the news and farmers' reports. His love of country was cemented by live performances prevalent in every nearby town. Watching them made him realize he wanted to do the same thing. Who is Normal? Norma Voss was born May 18, 1952, and raised in Pearsall, Texas. There isn't too much information available about her, but she didn't have experience with living in the spotlight until becoming the power behind the throne of the king of country. She's supported him in everything he's done and even made a few brief appearances in his works. See if you can spot her in the music video for Codigo. A Cowboy Love Story George and Norma were high school sweethearts, and he called her, quote, the first girl I ever loved. They grew up in a small town where everyone knew everyone. He never thought anything about her at first, seeing her as just another girl in his class. His opinion eventually changed as he started to see how beautiful she was. He asked her out one day, and they went on a date. It took a long time after that for him to realize he was missing the best thing in his life, so he asked her out again and she hadn't forgotten him either. Art mirrored life when, just as in his song Check Yes or No, young lovers went on to be a married couple. They eloped in Mexico December 4, 1971, when she was 19. They had a small church wedding for friends and family to satisfy their parents later in Texas. They didn't have much time to rest or enjoy a honeymoon, though. George enlisted in the Army and went to the Schofield Barracks in Hawaii. His wife came along, and they had their daughter, Jennifer, October 6, 1972. Working While in Love George performed in an Army-sponsored country group called Rambling Country. He was honorably discharged in 1975 and began to seek higher education. He enrolled at Texas State University and graduated with a degree in agriculture. Years later, after becoming a major star, he received an honorary doctorate from the school and established an endowment fund there. His career didn't take off immediately, though. His early experience was enough to get his feet wet, but not enough to make him a star. An opportunity came along when he found a flyer advertising a request for a new lead vocalist for a band called Stony Ridge. He auditioned and got the gig. He was touring Texas, but no major labels wanted him. He had to work on cattle ranches and design cattle pens just to support his family. That persistence turned 1981 into perhaps the most important year of his life. He released his first single, Unwound. He got a contract with MCA Records. And he and Norma also welcomed their second child, George Bubba Strait Jr. George's career started to explode after that. He had his first number one single, Fool Hearted Memory, in 1982. Then he had a string of hits, such as A Fire I Can't Put Out, You Look So Good in Love, Right or Wrong, and Let's Fall to Pieces Together. The 80s were a massive decade for him, with seven albums reaching number one on the country charts. The 90s saw his film debut in 1992's Pure Country, and the following decades helped him become one of the best-selling artists of all time. Norma appeared in his works from time to time, like in music videos, but she remained a homemaker until Bubba went off to college. She then joined her husband on his Cowboy Rides Away tour in 2014. It drew in 105,000 people and broke a record for the largest indoor concert in North America. They became grandparents February 2, 2012, when Bubba and his wife welcomed George Strait III. They call him by his middle name, Harvey. Another grandchild came on September 10, 2016, a girl named Jillian Louise. They live close enough for the family to get together often. A Tragic Loss Jennifer Strait died at age 13 in a car accident, June 25, 1986. She was a passenger in a car that went too fast around a turn. 
She wasn't wearing her seatbelt and was the only fatality of the four people in the car. The driver was not under the influence of alcohol, and criminally negligent homicide charges against him were dropped. George hasn't said much about how the tragedy affected him or his family. He became much more reserved and stayed out of the public eye for a while after it happened. He didn't want to spread his grief to anyone else. Instead, he threw himself into his work and released 11 straight number one singles. There's speculation that he dedicated a song to her, though it's never been proven. It was called Baby Blue and released in 1988. The lyrics talk about longing for a woman who brought light into his life but is now gone. And George seems to be in pain when he sings it live. He did give one interview to People magazine in 2012 about the loss of his daughter. He said he and his family were blessed to have been able to spend the 13 years they did get with her. The Straits also founded the Jennifer Strait Memorial Foundation in 1986 in her honor. The nonprofit gets private donations and distributes them to charities that serve children in the San Antonio area. Looking back on life and true love George is a private man. Being one of the most successful country western singers of all time comes with a constant need to hide from paparazzi and reporters. He often doesn't get recognized if he's not wearing a cowboy hat and lies if fans say they saw him around. That doesn't mean he's not willing to open up about the most important things in life. One of them is his relationship with Norma. He said they were blessed to have found each other. They've always done everything together and have been able to love and like each other through decades of marriage. He's posted on Instagram more than once in honor of their anniversary, but he took it up a notch once they'd gone through a few decades together. They celebrated their 50th anniversary in December of 2021. He sang his hit song, I Cross My Heart, to her in Vegas. It was a way to publicly express his gratitude for standing by him. George is also grateful for their children. He has honored his daughter and loves working together with his son. Bubba is a rodeo cowboy and songwriter. They've collaborated on songs such as Here for a Good Time. He loves seeing his son's passion for writing and playing the guitar, and it helped him get back into songwriting as well. In addition to regular Las Vegas residencies and one-off stadium shows, he's got a nine-date stadium tour with Chris Stapleton planned for 2024. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite song from George Strait? Let us know in the comments section below.